Hi, Jen here with Blessed by Angels, and I just wanted to continue in the process of learning about progression, growth, um, empowerment of our ancestors and our angels on the other side. A common question that a lot of people also have is, do you experience, we talked about the gray to white light, do you experience anything from the gray to the dark side? Or a lot of people might say, I feel like I have some visitor or some energy in my house and I don't know how to get rid of it or it's a little bit terrifying or I'm just a little bit worried in that sense. And so what can I do to be able to do that? And I have found that there are people who have a harder time being able to cross over or maybe they just don't want to accept their journey or they still have incompletion or not having closure or not being willing to accept the light or they're just held in like this space maybe of like a limbo or an in-between. And I find that a lot of times maybe they will be drawn to someone who has that light or who is experiencing light in the area in which they hold dark. So they might be trying to find that progression or that healing, they just don't know where to go. And they might see someone who's in that same grieving process, but who's being able to move through that grief quicker or is continually trying to feed themselves with light. And it's almost like I can see them coming to those people and trying to take that light from them because they don't know what else to do or how to be able to move forward. And so I don't typically work a lot with this, um, but I do feel like this is a good thing to just share and to address because it is such a common concern for so many people. And in that circumstance, what I normally just do is if someone feels like there's a heavy energy around them or they just are having these negative experiences, is I always um, just pray for angels to assist them. And what I ask for is I ask for angels who have been in their light and have who have been able to progress to be with them and to help them. And so it's almost like I see being able to like, if someone, maybe someone had an addiction and that held them so strongly, it would be hard for them, even us here, like say we're wanting to change our ways. It's hard for us to confide in someone who hasn't experienced what we've done or they don't understand what it is that we're going through. And I find that to be the same on the other side is I find that I always ask angels who have been in their, in their circumstance or in their situation to be with them to say, hey, look, I've experienced this, I've done this, and yet I've been able to receive a lot of closure, completion, forgiveness, and I've been able to transcend myself because of that. So let me help you. So I always tend to just pray. And sometimes I'll get into the story about why or connect in with that. Um, but most of the time, it's just praying to allow those angels to be there to help them so that you can keep your space. You can move on to your light. You can move into your space without having them in your area anymore. And it doesn't have to be a scary or a bad thing. Don't spend too much time worrying about it or anything like that. Um, in the next video, I also am going to post a video about how to cleanse your house um, or how to keep your space clean um, from any, any negative energy, any vibrations or anything like that that's lower. So I'll be posting that as well. But if you are one who feels like you're connected into that darker side or that scary side, or maybe you're just scared to open that up, <laughs> which is definitely understandable. Um, I always just pray for angels of white light to be with me or to help me or to help those who are in that space so that I don't have to hold on to that, I don't have to cling on to that, and that I can move forward. Now, one thing that I also love to do is maybe when I feel like there's um, something or some energy that's come home with me or you just feel like that is, I always like to, if you just imagine someone standing up and go from their head all the way to their feet of like, just like on the right side, the left side, in the front and in the back. So it's like you're just cutting any of that energy that could be around them or anything like that. Now, especially with children who have um, sensitivities to scary things or to the dark side, or they just feel a little bit more nervous a lot. Um, I'll go into a video all about that as well, but one thing that I would suggest to do is to offer that prayer, asking for assistance to have that energy leave, but also along with that, 
is I like to have the kids stand with their hands and their legs out so just like they would draw with chalk is you like kind of trace their whole body like their space like their um, their energy bubble around them and then I like to go like this and I like to imagine that as I blow into my hand like this that I'm blowing into that energy bubble around them white light or maybe they can pick a color of a light that they want so maybe they want a hot pink or whatever it is but blowing that into their space and just visualizing in the intention of anything that's heavy or stuck by them or inside of them that it's no longer in their energy bubble and that you've created that boundary and that space and that light. You can do that for yourself as well. You know, you could always imagine as you're breathing, you're blowing out this bubble of white light and then you can step into it and then you're protected. There's so many different things that you can do. It's visualizing, setting the intention and of course, if you feel like you're prone to having maybe a heavier energy around you, well, what are you inviting into your life? Are you watching scary movies that allow your mind to wander and to be worried about those kinds of things? What kind of music are you listening to? What kind of influences are you putting in your life? Because what you attract, your vibe attracts your tribe. And so also acknowledging what it is that you're experiencing, what it is that you're putting out there, what are you getting back? So being able to check in on that as well is a great way to not have that connection or to disconnect from that area. I normally don't go too much into that, but I wanted to address it because it is such a concern for us now. Um, it's a concern for many people. And so honestly, you don't have to get into any of that. Just ask for assistance, for light, to be able to help them move forward, move out of your space. And then of course I would clear it. I, I'll post that cleansing video energy clearing, like going around your body, different things like that, to really be able to just set the intention that you are no longer a space for that energy to be with you. And then they'll have their progression on the other side. And so their angels will take them, work with them, help them find closure, completion, anything like that. So it doesn't have to be in your space. It doesn't have to be scary. It doesn't have to fall on you. You can set that boundary for your life and you can call upon God, your angels, Jesus, anyone who you wanna call upon to help create that boundary so you don't have to experience that because you are here to create your life, to experience your life, to grow and to progress. So you don't need to have attachments to other people's progression on the other side who might not be able to do so. So I uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope that this brought some insight. Once again, don't focus on the heavy side. When you don't focus on it, it doesn't show up. Setting your boundaries high, setting your intention high is obviously the ultimate and the best factor of being able to have that completion, that happiness, and that closure in that way. So I wanted to thank you once again for watching. My cute little dog is saying, okay, we're done filming today. <laughs> um, so I hope you have a great night. And um, I hope that this video sends you a lot more love and light and inspiration. Mm -hmm.